the subtraction property of equality says that if we have a equal to b then if I was to come along with some value let's say c and subtract it from both sides that equality statement would reign true. So A minus C would still be equal to B minus C. Now it should make some sense just thinking about if I took a number like 5 and I told you that that was equal to 5, two values that are equal, obviously if I subtract 2 from both sides it would stay the same, right? We would still have 3 is equal to 3 nothing changed we just subtracted one number from both sides now why is this important in math well we're going to get things that are going to ask us to solve and when they ask us to solve it's going to say something like okay I want to know what number plus five what number plus five is equal to seven now that's simple enough for us to sit here and guess and say, oh, well, that's easy. That's 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. We've got an answer. Why should I do all the work? Well, again, this is going to get more difficult as we go along. So what we're going to use here is the concept of I can subtract the same number from both sides. So I can subtract 5 from both sides. And what that will allow me to do is this will now turn to a zero and then this X is all left by itself now right so that means the X will just come down and we'll get the solution over here well it's 7 minus 5 that's 2 and that's our solution now as we get more complicated these problems will get more sophisticated and a little bit more complicated but that's the general idea is they'll give us something that says solve They'll give us a problem where it says something like, okay, well, x plus 3 is equal to negative 2. Okay, well, this might be a little bit more difficult. What number can I add to 3 and then get a negative 2? Well, I may not want to sit here and guess all day. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same technique of I'm going to get rid of that 3 by subtracting, and I'm going to subtract it from both sides. Okay, subtract from both sides means that this one here will zero out. Positive 3 minus 3 is 0. That leaves me just the x. And now I can say, well, all right, negative 2, subtract 3 more. Well, that leaves me negative 5, and I now have my solution.